Good morning, everyone, or good day, different time zones. Well, welcome to Sugar and Spice 3, the third one. Today, I'm feeling that I um, should take it easy. There'll be movement, but really subtle. And that's the, the vibe I'm getting. So this presentation is about really I'll show you one of the ways that I create poetry. You know, many people think poetry are words that rhyme and you write on paper. That's certainly one form of poetry. But to me, poetry really is, it's really creating in general. And it's also, it's also like the erotic. There's something bittersweet about the erotic. It's you know, when, when you want something, when I want something and I get it straight away, I don't know, I don't know about you, but it feels like it's not as satisfying. There's something beautiful about the, the getting it, but not getting it. You know, it's like um, this Oscar Wilde quote that the greatest strategy, tragedy in life is not getting what you want. The two greatest tra tragedies in life is not getting what you want and getting what you want. So, so we're, we're playing in that space where like we're approaching what we want, but not quite getting there. And there's always that. Poetry is like that. Whenever I write poetry, it's never, the words can't quite capture what I'm saying because it, words are always limited. But what's guiding the creation for me is not the words, but my body, the whole body. So that's what we're going to experiment today. Let me just close the window. It's quite nice here outside. All right, that's better. So I invite everyone to just find a com comfortable place to sit or lie down or stand. And it's always good to start with the breath. So we're just gonna inhale through the nose. I'm gonna count to four, and then we hold it for four, and then we exhale through the nose for four, and hold it for four, and we just do that in, in a cycle. So let's do that, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four, exhale. One, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four, inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three. Last two, inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four. exhale, one, two, three, four. Now just breathe normally as you would. And then the next breathing one we'll do is just have your hand. And then put your two fingers, the pointing finger and the middle finger in your forehead. And then we're gonna use 
the thumb and uh, the ring finger to block one side of the nose. So we're gonna start with, we're gonna block, we're gonna use the thumb to block the right nostril. So we're gonna inhale from the left. And then we're gonna close the left nostril and exhale from the right. Now we're gonna inhale from the right. And then close it and exhale from the left. Inhale from the left. And then exhale from the right. Inhale from the right nostril. Exhale from the left nostril. Inhale from the left. Close that and exhale from the right nostril. Inhale from the right. Exhale from the left. Inhale from the left. Exhale from the right. Inhale from the left. Exhale from the right. Last two. Inhale from the left. Exhale from the right. Inhale from the right. Exhale from the left. And just slowly release from that. Just breathe normally. If you have water, if you want to take a sip, it's a time to do that now. Now, hopefully we've settled down a bit, which should be easier for most of you because you're just starting your day. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna mention a body part and what you're gonna do is just put your awareness on that body part. And as I do it, I'm going to describe what I'm feeling, but yours, of course, will be different because you're a different person, you're a different place. So, so it's just, let's say, I say top of the head and then just put your awareness on the top of your head and just feel what's there. And I'm going to describe what I'm feeling, but don't let that distract you from what you're feeling. I'm just using it as an example of me feeling. In some cases, I'll skip my, I'll be silent. And in some cases, I'll say something just to prompt you of what's going on. All right, let's start. Just breathe in. And then just breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now let's start from the top of the head. Put your awareness on the top of your head. We'll start on the top of the head that's not yet your physical head. It's just a space above your head. Just feel what's there. I'm feeling like, um, it's like a cold air on top of my head. I could feel like the season is changing from, from summer to autumn or fall. And I could feel that there's a certain coolness in the, in the air above my head. And I'm just feeling it as it touches my, the scalp at the top of my head. So just feel what's there for you. Now we're gonna go down to the skull, the skull, the top part of your skull. 
Just feel what's there. For me, I'm feeling like it's like little electricity moving around. It's moving around the top of my skull. It's, just like, you know, it's a little bit tingly, ticklish, and a bit, some parts are a little bit softly itchy, you know, not itchy, itchy, but there's just a sensation there of me wanting to scratch it, but not too much. That's what I'm feeling on the top of my skull. I just feel that. And then we go, feel your face. Start with the forehead. What's the feeling there? Just feel your forehead. What are the sensations? And feel your eyebrows. And just feel what's there on the surface or inside or even the skin underneath the eyebrows. Just feel it. For me, I'm feeling as I put attention into my eyebrows, they kind of relax. I feel like they're expanding. Now I invite you to put your attention on your temples. This part. Just feel what's there. And then your cheekbones. And feel your eyes inside the eye socket of the skull. Feel your nose, tip of the nose, the sides, the nostrils where the air enters. Feel the skin just above the lips, in my case. There's a mustache there. I'm feeling. It's like a coolness. I know it's not a coolness. It's um. I can feel the weight of the the hair on my. On the that part of the upper lip. And then just feel your lips. In my case, I've just wet it a bit. I'm just feeling, feeling how smooth it is as I rub it against each other. And feel your tongue. Where is it? My tongue, the tip of my tongue in the forward, it's touching the, the back lower, the back teeth in the lower part of the teeth. And just touching, just using the tongue to, I'm using the tongue to just feel each tooth on the lower.
And as I'm doing that, I'm having flashbacks. So now we're gonna open it up. It may not happen for you, it may, just let it happen if it does. So as I'm using my tongue to touch the back teeth, I'm having this memory of being in the dentist when I was a child and then having this light, you know, the, the dentist light shine on my face and the, it's warm and I'm feeling I, ha I wanna be a good boy and be brave and not show fear, even though did feel fear in the rest of my body, but in my face, I was trying to show a brave face to this dentist woman. Quite interesting. The mixture of trying to please someone and also the fear of being of pain the unknown what's going to happen with this sharp instrument she's holding in her hands. I invite you to move your attention to your ears. Just feel what's there. Is there a difference between the left ear and the right ear? What sounds are you hearing? Also feel the space between the ears. Are the ears talking connected to each other or are they separate? Just feel that. I invite you to move your attention to the back of your neck. And just feel the area underneath the skull, where there's like an indentation, we call it the occiput. Just feel that. Is the muscle there tight? Is it loose? What's going on there? Just feel it. Huh. So I'm feeling this part of my body. I have this image, I have this body memory of lying down in this. It feels like a massage table. And then hands are touching me from the sides, and someone's giving me a massage on the scalp. And this woman is on top of me. Her legs are very soft. Her face is beautiful. Her lips are so luscious. It's interesting coming from the back of the neck because I was just being passive, just doing all all well, the people around me are doing all the active things. I'm just receiving. I'm just really soft. So I'm feeling surrender, surrender here at the back of my neck. Interesting. So things may come out for you different from mine. Just let it. So the invitation in here is to just let things come and let it go. So I'm letting go of that. I myself, I'm letting go of that image or that memory, that feeling. And now we're gonna move our attention to the throat. The front of the throat. Just feel what's there. Mm. It's 
quite interesting feeling. Mm, that's interesting. I feel like aggression. <laughs> it's like a, a, I want to fight. Um, I want to wear an armor and be in the battle. That's a, that's what a feeling I'm getting from this part of my body. In a real war where it's person to person. I could smell, smell the fear. I could smell the adrenaline, smell the blood. That's what I'm feeling in this part of my body. And yeah, so the invitation here is when you do this, not to judge the feeling, it's just part of creativity is letting it, letting it come out without editing, without censoring or filtering. Because you can do that later if you decide to write this with the impressions. You can, there's always time to edit before you publish something, but while the work is being born, just let it be born as it is. Yeah, so I'm feeling this like real, real aggression and, but not, it doesn't feel malicious. It feels like there's excellence in, in, in holding the sword and the shield and in moving my body. There's this finesse, but it's violent. It's like finesse and violence. And I'm feeling it from my throat, which is quite interesting. Hmm. Good, we're gonna let it go. I invite you to move your attention to your heart, heart area, heart center, the chest. Just feel what's there. And you can explore, move your attention from different parts, of it, the center of the heart, the lungs, shoulder blades, the arms, it's in that level. You can feel the surface in front, surface at the back. You can feel what's going on inside the heart area, the chest area. And, and just feel what, what putting your attention is part of your body. What does it bring to you? It could be anything, it could be images, it could be feelings, it could be words, it could be sounds. Just feel it. And let things come, allow them to bubble up, allow them to Occupy space in your consciousness. Allow them to change too. Sometimes they may come out different and then change as you continue to put attention on them. With me, I'm feeling this, it's like levity, you know, it's like feeling like this area is so light that it will make me float. It's like... It's just like a hot air balloon, but it's not, it's not spherical, it's horizontal. It's light as air, lighter than air, and it's making me float up. I could also feel parts in the middle are heavy. They're like, um, it 
They're like it feels like pellets of lead, small. It's weighing down the whole thing. It's interesting. But the whole thing is still light. But there's parts that's really heavy, but they're quite dense and acute. They're um, concentrated. So we're going to move down from the heart area down to that area from your solar plexus to your tummy, that area, and at the back as well. Just feel what's there from the front, from the side, from the back, from the inside, from the surface. What is this part of your body trying to tell you? Sometimes the body whispers. And if we're too busy and we don't listen, the body will shout and, you know, until we listen. It can be painful sometimes. But if you start listening to whispers, then you can avoid the the painful shouting of our body. With me, I'm feeling this, um, just inside the stomach area. And it's like a faint, faint pain that's distributed. It's like a throbbing, but lightly throbbing pain. And I'm feeling it, it's like a hunger that I've been ignoring, so. So I'll put, like in my case, I'll put um, a bookmark on that so that later tomorrow or later today or the next day, I'm gonna go back and see, because it's, that's interesting. What is this hunger? It doesn't feel like it's food, it's something else. It's, Yeah, so I'm going to go back to that. So feel free to do that at any time as well. Bookmark it and so you can go back later. And who knows, a poem or a short story or whatever can come out of that from me going back to this hunger. What is this hunger? A hunger that's hiding under the shadow. No, no, it's not a shadow, it's under. It's just more like it's it's under a, a cloth. So the hunger is under a cloth, a smooth cloth. And it's almost revealing itself, but not quite. So it's quite interesting. It's almost like this hunger is seducing me to, to lift up the cloth, and, but not too fast. That's, that's, what's, that's the feeling. Hmm. I'll put a bookmark on that. I invite you to move down to the pelvic area. So it's the area of your genitals, the sacrum, the sac sacral area, pelvic bone, that, that kind of area, your buttocks, glutes, Some traditions call this the 
girdle and at the girdle. Well, here I've been, it's physical pain in my back, it's lower back in the sacral area, which I've never had before. So this is something new. I've never had back pain ever. It's only recently since I come, came back from this Tantra festival. So uh, it's quite interesting what's going on there. It just came suddenly. So the pain in my lower back, it's like a pulling. It's like, it feels like the fascia is being, it's, it's taut. It's like, it's like, just like the muscles are like, you know, like when you have a bow and arrow and it's being, it's bright before you let go so that the arrow will fly. So it's that really tight pulling and the pulling hurts when I move because it's pulling the nerve endings into different parts, but it's the little muscles. the little muscles that's hurting for me, not the big ones. So I could be sitting like this and it's fine. But then when I make micro movements, it's like, oh. Yeah, interesting. It's curious too that when I tense my, my abdominal muscles, it feels better. But if I let go, then I feel the pain. It's quite interesting. So what's there for you in your pelvic area? While we're there, let's focus, put our attention on our genitals. Let's feel what's there. Me, I'm feeling this soft warmth. It's around my balls and around my, my penis. It's very soothing, it's a soothing feeling. A gentle, intimate, like warm, soft air. Maybe not even air. It's a bit like a liquid. It's like gel. It's like a gel gelatinous thing. This is gently moving. I'm sensing that as I feel that, as I feel the gentle movement around my balls and my penis, I could feel my perineal muscles relaxing. The perineum is like, oh. Now there's a bit of tension in my perineum. It's quite, it feels like it's, it's dense. Very dense. So I'm gonna put a bookmark on that too. On that difference, on that contrast between the softness in the genitals and the tightness in the perineal area. So there's something for me to see there later, to see what that is. I invite everyone to just slowly let that go. Just 
move our attention, move your attention to your legs, the leg area down to the knee, knees and kneecap, the back of the knees. Just feel what's there. Tightness in my glutes at the back. While at the same time, I'm feeling that my legs are, feels like it's submerged in icy water. It's quite interesting. Hmm. There seems to be a faint pain in my left kneecap as well. Cuts diagonally across the kneecap. Just feel that. I'm feeling like with this feeling on my knees, I'm being called to write something about being on my knees, kneeling in front of the pews in, in an altar in a, in a Catholic church and smelling the frank incense of the priest and looking at the chalice and the and uh, host the bread that's been consecrated. Feeling all that from this feeling in my knees of submitting to belief without question. And feeling all the people doing the same. Feel the solemnity, the, the silence, the, the hope of the people feel they're struggling and there's no other way but to give it up to the to some form of something greater than them. I'm feeling that in my knee. Feeling the sound of the bell it's calling everyone to come together from different walks of life, from different ages, different genders. Everyone to be to be silent and just receive this blessing. Veneration, this respect, this holiness. It's quite, I haven't been to church for a long time, but it's coming up as I, thought, as I put my attention in this kneecap. Yeah, I put another bookmark there, it's something for me to go back there. What's that all about? And then we let go and go to the low, lower leg, calf, chin, in front, and that bone that, that hurts when you bang it against something hard. Yeah, that sharp part of your bone. And I'm feeling my calf muscles and I feel how much they've really worked for me. <laughs> my hard working muscle. I got this image of bulls running and non-stop. Also, 
get from this calf, my calf muscles, so I'm getting this image of Atlas carrying the world. And a ship and his calf, you know, the world thing. Now, all right, now, stay a bit more. I think there's more here. Stay a bit more, but feel your calf muscles. Feel also the shape of it, the, the smooth, rounded shape of most people's calf muscles. There's something there. It's not all Mars. There's some Venusian aspect in the in the in the shape of this part of our body. There's a certain yin beauty in it. So it's not just uh, the airy, the ar aris, the Mars force, but there's also this sensuality from Venus in this part of our body. Now we come move our attention to our foot. From the ankles to the top of the feet, the toes, toenails, the Achilles heel, the arch, space between the toes, the ball, the ball, the heel and ball. And just feel that it's happening in your feet. How are you feeling? Your, what's your feet trying to tell you? It's trying to tell you to run like Mercury, like Hermes, to be swift. Or is it telling you to slow down? It's telling you to ground, to feel the earth, to feel solid. Or is it being tickling feathers on the underside of your feet? Just feel what's there without judging, without filtering. All right, now I'm gonna just have a four deep breaths, just in through your nose, out through your mouth, in through your nose, out through your mouth, in through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Let's have one more for good for into your nose. Go back to the to where we are. I'm gonna click my fingers and that will be the invitation to come back. And when you're back, I invite you, if you're comfortable, to turn on your camera. You won't be recorded only in the spotlight and in question and answer for the last 10 minutes or so. Or if you would like to, like, curious to, to hear what happened to you.
anyone can just unmute themselves if they if that works better. So, so dance, I think. I think the, the ones I did for dance and movement are available, right, Martha, in the YouTube channel. Uh, so you could look at that, Eric. Yeah, so this is more internal because really um, creating is a really internal affair, you know, like writing, creating. So I think there's not been a, a great work of art that's group made. It's usually very visual, you know, when you, when you write something, it's an, a very individual affair. It's really coming from inside oneself and putting it out in the world. Then other people can participate, but that initial, initial thing is really coming from each person because each person is unique, each person has has that thing that they can bring to the world, you know? All right, that one who's here. And free to give feedback in the feedback form or message me in if you have questions after this. In the rest of your day. Good. Thank you, Oliver. I think he froze <laughs> at the right time. <laughs> yeah, your screen froze. So thank you so much, Oliver, for this. I think we really appreciate it because this is like early in the morning and it's a great way to connect with our body and to gently wake up. Thank you so much for everything that you do and for being who you are. You, you, um, you have a very special energy about you, which reminds us to come back to ourselves and to uh, do the work that we need for ourselves as well. So yeah, thank you for doing this. So I will stop the recording and like to invite everybody to fill out the feedback form. Thank you.